What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Burley Fishing Channel. Uh, this is a video that I have been meaning to do for like a year and a half, maybe longer. Uh, so I'm very excited to do it. But before I get into all that, I want to very sincerely say thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Uh, thank you for hitting the subscribe button, ringing the notification bells, and uh, liking this video. Uh, it really means a lot to us. We do appreciate uh, very, very much every comment, uh, every reach out, every subscription. We, we really do appreciate it. So thank you very much. Uh, this video that I'm going to do here, I'm just going to show you some of the madness that's going on right now on the bench. Check that out. It is getting weird in here. This is the, let me put this down. This is actually the second or third time I've done this intro. Um, it basically, I I'm doing something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, which is kind of bring some of my fly tying experience uh, over to my standard bass fishing. I have got here a like five or six, maybe seven different kinds of buzz baits. Got a couple of spinner baits like this guy right here. I've stripped them of their skirts. A lot of them have just come apart. A lot of them are just old beat up and they're great fish catchers. They still got the metal, they still got the hook. The hooks are still good, everything is great, but the skirts have deteriorated. Or the little rubber piece that's like, you know, rubber banded and holding those little uh, rubber skirts on is just like falling apart, which happens all the time. I and mean, that's just the nature of rubber. It's going to happen. Nothing you can do about it. Except there is one thing you can do about it. Uh, when you're done, you can take some material like say some craft fur or some marabou and uh, and you can make your own. You can retie them on. The nice thing about retying your own is when you decide that that's something that you want to do, you can hand tie your own using something like this bobbin here. This is like a $15 bobbin, $12 bobbin, not expensive. I have a nice one somewhere. I don't know why I'm not using it. But um, Thread is so much better. It's actually my favorite way. Like when I get hand tied jigs and I see that they're using wire is great. I have no problem with wire, but when I see thread on there, I know that is going to last the longest. I know it's the most secure. I know that you can put some uh, super glue or head cement on there and you can make that last a very long time. It's going to be very secure. So like uh, that's just something that I look for in my jigs and something that I wanted to, you know, use here. The other benefit of doing this is that you can get some custom colors. So like, let's say for example, like I had a sugar buzz and then I've got, it's a bit, it's a, it's a buzz bait. I'll show it to you in a minute. I actually have already finished it. I have done, I have like a bunch of them in white and chartreuse. There's nothing wrong with chartreuse and white. It's like hands down one of the best there, you know, patterns that's out there. It works great in a ton of situations, but I had two of them in blue and chartreuse and, or in, uh, chartreuse and white. And I was like, you know, what would be great is if I had one in black and blue which i don't even think that they make so i was like man you don't be rad if i had one of these in black and blue so you know what i made my own um that's one of the cool things about this you can get super creative the other thing that's kind of cool about some of this is like you can bring in your own materials like this this flash boom material is like super unique you're not going to find that on the shelf anywhere if you got your own rubber legs that you like using you can you can do that uh if you want to do run on the throat you can bring your own line and this just like unlimited option here here's what i'm here's my pile of stuff that i'm kind of sifting through i mean look at all this like you can do anything that your your heart desires you can go out and do now i just happen to have all the stuff laying around because i tie flies and i enjoy doing that i like getting creative with that it's a long-winded way of saying like i'm going to tie up some of my own buzz baits and spinner baits this took maybe 10 minutes um it's really not difficult and, and yes these some of these are going to get torn up like this one's marabou and rubber legs and some uh, some some bunny strips. Like this one's gonna get tore up. Like the, I, I understand that. Th this is not what I would recommend. This this is more uh, what I would recommend to folks is something like this. This crafter is gonna last. It's gonna it's gonna get it's gonna it's gonna hold up a lot better than some of the other materials. This purple it might get a little shredded, but there's a bunch in there. The silver is really gonna hold up pretty well. Look at the size of that chunk. Like that is all gonna trim down to like nothing. And it's going to be a really cool, I think that's going to be really cool. It's going to be something that a fish has never seen before. I, mean, I guarantee you, no, no fish has ever seen that clumpy mess of anything before. So like even the worst fly tire can make something unique. You can throw something different that a fish has not seen. And that's what we're all doing here. We're all trying to find like the next thing that a fish has not seen. And I'm just sort of messing around like, I do not expect, sorry about shaking the camera, I do not expect any of these to be perfect. I don't even expect them to be that good. I haven't been on the vice in like well over a year. It's, it's a challenge. Um, but it's something that's really cool to me, something I think is really fun. And, and hopefully you get some cool ideas and, and maybe you can go out and spend 
I don't know, like one of these is like four bucks for some craft fur. You could spend six bucks for some flash boo. Another, what did these legs cost? $4 for, for some of these. Uh, and if you can find yourself a vice that someone's gonna let you borrow or you can just hold on to it yourself, uh, you know, you got super glue, most people already have it, and like a bobbin, and you're talking like 50 bucks or less, you could be, you know, tying up some super custom stuff that like, again, no fish has ever seen before. So uh, if nothing else, I hope it's interesting, I hope it's entertaining, you can, you guys can make fun of me in the comments and be like, dude, that, that dude cannot tie a knot to save his life. Um, I just think it's, uh, that is something really cool, so I hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to get down to it, Yeah, where I'm going to do a couple of fast forward uh, ties for you so you can see how I'm sort of doing everything in three, two, one. All right, so I want to show you what I have tied up so far. I am running out of light. It's going to get dark in here real fast, and you guys are going to get, it's just going to get ugly. So let's let's go ahead and get down to business. Uh, I'll show you the ones I didn't like the most first, so stick with me for another 30 seconds here or so. Uh, the first one was the Sugar Buzz in black and blue. There it is. Uh, it's a little cockeyed, super cockeyed actually, but once this gets in the water, that is not going to matter. This is all going to just, the water's going to trim this down, and when it's moving, like that's the bait that you're getting. You're getting this like black with like a royal blue flash in there. I think that's so cool with that sugar buzz moving rear hook. That thing's gonna, that thing will catch fish. This is by far the ugliest one. It's not close. Uh, there's like a purple with like silver belly and black. This is just tied awfully. Uh, and if I'm grading myself, this is like a four out of 10. But I do think that that will catch. Like I think that that will catch fish. That looks good. Uh, I love me a big old Colorado blade slow thump. And when this gets trimmed down and rolling, it's gonna catch fish. Now I wanna get into some of the ones that I thought that actually looked really cool and are a little bit on the unique side. Uh, this is like a micro spinner bait. I've caught a lot of walleye on this. This can crush for like pretty much anything though. And when you need to stay high in the water column, use light line and go a little super finessey. This is just like the coolest option. Like look at the size of that thing. That is just so cool. Uh, so this had like a pink, yellow, red, black, like bonkers clown style trailer, which like I'm sure, you know, it worked. Uh, but I wanted something that was a little more simple. So I went with just fuchsia, white belly, super heavy duty glued head in there. Uh, like that's your bait, like that's cool. I think that's really cool. And I think it's gonna catch. And remember, like this seems big, this is all gonna trim down to like that when it's underwater. I think that's really cool. And again, good luck trying to find that on the shelf somewhere. All right, these last three I thought were really neat. This is the last one that I tied. 
Uh, this is a, check that out. This is a uh, big gold spinnerbait, double willow. Gonna be able to run this super slow. It had like a green, like natural white black trailer, uh, which totally, you know, is fine. No problem with that. But it was getting ratty and dead, so I redid it. Now I've got this like gold black uh, with like decent body. But like that's gonna be your bait moving through the water like so. Man, I think that is just gonna crush. And I mean, you can see those little crazy rubber legs and the flash boo with like the big black body. Again, good luck finding that in the shelf. I just think that's really neat. Tie your own, love it. Uh, these next two, I actually think I knocked them out of the park. So this is a buzz bait, a finesse buzz bait. I don't know how much it weighs, but it's not much at all. I went straight marabou. Uh, and then I did these like uh, rabbit strips here, uh, which is really like a streamer uh, presentation typically. And then I put those crazy legs in there. That is, I think that is absolutely bonkers. This marabou is going to go down to nothing. I mean like nothing. I may need to trim this up a bit because it's a little long. The back of the hook's like right here in the bait. But yo, that is cool. I just think that's so stinking cool. This last one is by far my favorite. This is a color that I do not use. It's orange. I think I've mentioned that in a podcast at one point. Like I don't have anything really orange other than like a craw, which is usually more red. Uh, so I took the Thunderhawk uh, buzzbait combo. So this allows you, this is really supposed to be a buzzbait piece. Sort of has like a head right here, a weighted head, and then a free swing, this is upside down, a free swinging hook that you can take on and off and replace as needed. And you can run soft plastic frogs on there. That's really what it's made for. Uh, I was like, well, I got a couple of these. I think I'm just gonna mix it up. So I did these white, like uh, this is like a jig skirt material, white belly, and then just like bright orange. And I made sure to leave this big like cone head right here just to displace and make more action in the water and kind of give it some girth right up front. Uh, you see the hook is hidden back there. I think, you know, you could trim this one down if you needed to, but yo, that is, I think that is absolutely deadly. The biggest problems I had actually were tying off my knots. I usually use what's called a whip finish tool that looks like this. Uh, and usually I can like just do this and tie off knots really quickly. That's for small hooks where the head is the exposed point. So like none of this, none of this is in the way. Uh, this did not work. Made life actually very challenging. To, I don't really know that I have any of the heads tied off super well on these. So I just uh, used a ton of head cement. Uh, I do not know that that's going to hold forever. I'm going to go back and super glue all of these, like point blank. Like I do not want these things falling apart for no reason. Uh, all in all, I'm really excited with the way these came out. I'm, I'm going to be fishing these this weekend for sure. But overall, I really hope that you guys thought this was cool. I hope like the time lapse thing like turned out and you, you feel like you actually saw something uh, that maybe you've never seen before. Uh, if there's something you'd like me to tie that, you know, you thought you think would be cool to see, let me know in the comments. I read every single one of these, so I will go check them out and I will, you know, straight up out. If I think it's cool, I will go ahead and go tie some up. If you, thought this was a hilarious joke like let me know too uh would love to get your guys's feedback this is totally different than what we normally do on the channel but i'm a nerd and we're doing the nerd stuff that i feel like doing to uh to give you some more content so let me know what you thought of these again thank you so much for watching this video we sincerely appreciate uh every single view every single comment we, we legitimately appreciate it so thank you so much and uh if you're tying your own if you're watching this you know and that is a horrible outro uh thank you so much blah 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 so yeah, that's what I got for you. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully this was fun and enjoyable and uh, we'll catch you out on the water.